large container of gasoline, a rope, gloves, mask, and a hazmat suit with a helmet. New video from the February arson at the New Tampa Mosque shows this guy intent on causing damage. Almost three full months after that crime, investigators are just now releasing the video that could help them solve the case. News Channel 8's Peter Bernard is live at the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office tonight. And Peter, this fire shocked people of many faiths. It did, and that's why it's puzzling why we're just now seeing the video of this crime. The day it happened, people stood in solidarity to protest exactly what happened here. This arsonist means business, dirty business. At first, he tries to set a gasoline rope on fire, hoping it would ignite a gas container. When that doesn't work, he pours gas on the sidewalk and lights it. With no explosion, he returns. Off camera, he sets the gas on fire and runs off as flames and smoke grow. This is not action of peace. This is action of, of a hate. After looking at the video, members of the mosque have even more questions about the mindset you know, of a deranged person. It is disturbing. I mean, you know, somebody who is intent to harm the place that you do your prayer at, it's disturbing. I mean, why some, somebody want to do that? Right after the February 24th arson, people of all faiths rally behind the Muslim community. As members surveyed the damage, the church next door offered their facilities for prayers. Tampa Mayor Bob Buckhorn made this pledge. Whether you're Jewish, Muslim, or Catholic, we stand in solidarity with all of the members of this community. Having to witness this and see the video firsthand, it's absolutely terrifying. The fire damage is repaired, the door glass replaced. The camera that caught the arsonist still peers down. To think that if this is, if this was a few hours earlier, you know, God forbid having any of the congregates here and having to witness that or be inside the mosque when this occurs. Just terrible. The Council on American Islamic Relations is still offering that $5,000 reward that leads to an arrest. And also, there's also a reward for uh, the Crime Stoppers. They're also offering a similar re uh, reward. Keith? Well, Peter, a lot of time has gone by here. Do fire investigators have any leads at this point? I'm told they are following up on leads. Now, the, the video's out, and you've all had a look at it. I'm sure it'll help them ID the guy. All right. Peter Bernard, thank you.